virtual reality. The next frontier in entertainment, and more specifically, gaming. In these early years of the medium, genres have been passed over from flat to, well, that. The RTS genre, in itself, is in a state of coma these days. Not too many overly successful real-time strategy games, in comparison to about a decade ago. This video is showing why VR might have a chance to revive this genre. And we finally have a title that does it so well. Final Assault is the perfect combination of RTS and MOBA. I am absolutely addicted to this game. I got my hands on it about eh, one or two months ago. I expected another neat game from a studio that brought us a fun launch title in the past, aptly named Final Approach. That game was okay, but when I started playing this game, I couldn't stop. I wanted to get good. I wanted to climb the leaderboard. There's not much I'm going to say in this video. Let me explain why. In this game, I mostly played PvP. I felt the best way to learn all the units in the game was to do this, and I feel I was right. There's a lot more to this game than PvP. There are six campaigns where you play as each unit class. Each unit class specializes in infantry, air, or armor, and playstyles can actually differ among these units. Yes, there's no fog of war, or a lot of the higher level management that the classic RTS flat game is riddled with. I want to tell you that this game benefits from not having those. VR tries to copy over game genres to it, but in the process you realize there are actually huge differences that need to be thought out before this can happen. This game is a full presence title. You have to manage a multitude of units across the map and make sure you're still keeping control of the areas. In VR, that makes it a little more complicated. You can't just move your mouse to see an area and man micromanage all the units in one big swoop. You have to actually kind of look around with your head and move your body around. Units counter each other. And while you can just constantly send down units the MOBA inspired lane, you will not win doing so. In my experience, the more micro skills equals the more success. This game is super polished. It has a very large potential for becoming a very prominent VR eSports title as well. In fact, I'll actually be competing in a premium event showcasing this game the day after launch. I would love everyone to support me and the game by checking the links below for that. The event will be super exciting to watch and is also showcasing many other prominent VR YouTubers and streamers. Anyway, as I was saying earlier, I spent most of my time in PvP. The competitive nature of this game hooked me, but the single player could be a hook as well. I'm counting this video as a call to VRMs instead of a normal review. Despite the 100 hours I spent in this game, I've only completed just one campaign and mostly PvP. So there'll probably be a future full scale review as well. But until I complete all the content, I don't feel qualified to give this thing a full review. This video is just to purely make people aware of this game. This game has become one of my top 5 VR games of all time. It's that good. So let me finish off saying, definitely check out this game. Even if you are not a fan of RTS originally, you might really love the way this game plays. It's definitely worth a shot. Have a great day.